Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, um, what I have in front of you is a tool called Waxy. And a lot of people have been asking about this tool and how not to get blocked and things like that. So what I wanted to do was share with you how I'm using this tool and closely together. And um, I'm going to put a link in below for both tools. Um, just in case you wanted to pick them up or there's going to be a link to other videos that I've did on each one of these tools. But let me show you some best practices that I've used that I've been very effective with. Um, let me give you a couple different steps. What I use Waxy for, well, Waxy for is I like the fact that you could visit uh, a profile, right? I like that, that you can go and you can visit a profile, right? I like that you can visit a profile and I like that you could follow a profile. So the reason why I do that is because one day in the sequence that I use them, I visit their pages. So I'm act, I have to act as a human behavior because this is not SAS based. This is, um, this is a plugin. So you want this to act as much as human as you possibly can. So one day I do, um, I view their page, just visit it. Hey, I want to view your page. This is what I would do normally if I was prospecting in real life. I visit their page and then the next day I would come back and I would follow their page. And this is the follow here. And so I've done that with both of these here. Um, and then I've tagged them also because I want to use, I'm going to have multiple lists and doing different things within my platform now. So I like the campaign that this does for that. When it comes to uh, connecting and um, you know sending invitations and stuff like that, I'm going to rely on closely because closely is going to give me more of a human behavior, and I'm going to show you the reason why. So let me let me pause this real quick, and I'm going to take you through uh, a series of steps and some of the things that I like when I use closely. All right. Okay, so this is the real power to me. This is the real power of Closely, and I think Wallaxi is still working on it. They're trying to get it better, but they give you account limits because they do warm up. They have what's called warm up mode, right? And they have a true warm up mode. Um, and you also don't have to have the browser open for this to do that because you're already logged in um, and it's doing that on your behalf. You'll notice that when you use Wallaxi, you use a plugin and the browser needs to be on and a plugin needs to be on. Whereas when you use closely, you just need to log in, run the campaign and go and do what else you got to do. Um, and so if you really get efficient or if you use a VA while this is doing the warming up, you can be doing more research to add more to this particular uh, platform. But here's how this works, right? So this is how many messages you can send per day right and this is how many connections requests that you can make for a day now what you see here is if i started reaching out with people today what it's going to do it's only going to do for connection well for connection requests it's only going to send um about um five different uh five different connection requests between uh it's going to send 10 on a five day between a five day period here between the 17th to the 22nd and that's where it runs so it does 10 connection requests in the first five days so that's what it does then it gives you a longer window for the um for the next um connections for the next five to 15 days it, it's gonna um, send 20 connection requests over the next five to 15 days then for the next 15 to 25 days, it's going to send up to 30 connections, right? And then it's going to send up to 50 connections over the next 25 days, right? And it's, it's, it's like that. It's baked in. You can't change it. It's going to do that. So basically what it does is it, it puts your connection requests, human behavior into a slow cooker and it does not um, alert um, anything to do with your uh, LinkedIn connections. You don't send any red flags. You have a warm up period and they have what they call as a, a social selling index. 
right? Because they're they're monitoring everyone and they're trying to make sure that no one's abusing the system. What I think Laxie is missing is they don't have this intelligence built in um, to do that, right? You can go above 100, right? Um, in one day. And it's getting people to where they're getting their accounts banned. And this is it does the same thing on the message side here, um, the message the message windows as well. Okay, so you, it'll send 10 messages. Um, this, this will send five connection requests, and then on the next day, it'll send 10. So this is the meter here, and this will send 10 messages um, between the first five days, and then it will send 20, and so on and so forth. And that's what this warm up period is. So as soon as you start a campaign here, it just warms up. It does not start sending out messages. So that's what I like about closely. I would use closely more for my my warming up and more of my my messages and connections because um, it has a lot more features when it comes to the messaging. But as far as so I would use I would use uh, Wallaxi in the beginning stages to do a lot of my research. I think Wallaxi is powerful in doing the research. Uh, I think they're both pretty powerful, but I think Wallaxi has a little bit more flexibility in some of the research that you can do. But what I would you do, uh, I would use that to do the visiting and I would use that to do the following, right? Because you can't visit and follow with the human behavior here. You can't do that. And so once I do that, then I export them out and then I would import them here into, into closely. Let me show you how I do that. Okay, so now we're back in closely and what I do is I'll export out of Alaxi after I've followed them. I mean, after I visit their page, this first thing I do. Then after I follow them the next day, then what I do is I export all of the contacts down. And then I come here, I create a new campaign and I put the connection requests and follow up messages. That's what I use, right? You go here, then you name them, right? You name whatever your campaign is and then you import it in here. You drop it in there and the way you only what happens is when you export them out of Alaxi, just so you'll know is when you export them out of Alaxi, it's going to put them in a CSV file inside the CSV file. It's going to have a couple more columns in it. Um, you want it has going to have about eight more columns. Only thing you want is the first name, last name and the profile, the LinkedIn profile link. That's it. Delete everything else, even delete the top columns. And then let me show you how that looks. And then what you do is you drop that in here, then you start the campaign and you're ready to go. Um, and that's all it takes. So those are my three steps, right? So I go, I use Wallaxi. I um, visit their page the one day, the next day I go and I follow them on LinkedIn. Then the following week, so I do that for that week. Then the following week, I export them down and then I import them into here. And then the next week, I start following them slowly. I mean, I start asking them, can we connect? Um, and I'll drop it in there and that'll run for that entire week. You gotta be slow, you gotta be methodical, you gotta be direct, right? And you got to use some of the, the language, the good language. You cannot, this is a slow process. This is. This has been the most effective way for me to connect for B2B. I, it is, it's, it's fascinating the way that I'm able to connect because I find the bridge, I connect, and it's just like clockwork, it's automatic. So let me show you how the Excel file should look. Another tool that I used in this exercise is a tool called Niches. And it should be a link below uh, if you wanted to pick that up. But Niches is an AI or artificial intelligence writer. Um, it's pretty unique. It does a lot of different things. It's always been a favorite of a lot of people, but they have an actual part in here for reaching out on LinkedIn. Um, and you know, I think it's very important. They have this link, uh, link LinkedIn, uh, networking outreach it says, tell us something about the person and what you want from them. And we'll write a good message to get the conversation started. This is very powerful. So here's how you uh, pre-fill out the uh, the LinkedIn networking outreach generator. This is very powerful. So you put your business name in there. You put the type of business you're in. Uh, I just put investments in real estate. Um, and it says, what do you do? Invest in real estate. 
And then I put a fun fact. We both belong to the same real estate association. What I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to have a connector. So anytime you're going to reach out to anyone, definitely cold. You want to have a connector. Don't just ask to be a part of someone's network. Have a bridge. The bridge gives you permission to connect. This is how you get um, effective um, uh, LinkedIn campaigns to be ran because you don't want to blanket everyone. You want to have a bridge for certain people. Right. And so this is what I did. So let's see what the text gives us here. All right. So here's what we have here. So this is a good short message. It's uh, definitely below the threshold. I, th I want to say it's 200 and something characters. Uh, this is not below that, but these are longer messages. These are probably more emails, but this is a more of a quick, short connector. Hi, John. I saw, and you have to put a, a name down here because that way you could, um, you could actually format it correctly. So if you're using a tool, like I mentioned earlier, closely, then you can actually put that in as a variable. And then once you get over there, you put the variable name in here. So this says, hi, John, I saw that you belong to the real estate association and I'm, and I'm, and I'm hoping we can chat about real estate. I was hoping we can connect on LinkedIn. My name is Janie, right? So I don't know. That's that one's not that good. Hi, John. I was browsing LinkedIn and saw that you are a part of the real estate association. I'm the president of the real estate association. I was wondering if you would like to join my real estate association. So you're asking them in this particular case. Um, I don't know. Let me see if we can get, let's see if we can try to get it some more, some, some better copies here. All right. So here's some other ones and what you have to do and you have to using AI writers, they don't, I think sometimes they do have grammatical challenges. So it's always a good to get them, what I'll do is I'll mix maybe one and two, take part of one and mix it with two because I like the ending of it. And then I'll run it through a Grammarly check or something like that to clean it up. That's what I do. Uh, hey, John, I saw that you're in the Real Estate Association as well. I'm hoping that we can uh, that I can join your LinkedIn network and get more real estate investors. Let me know if you're interested. Right. Here's another one. I was hope I was looking through the Real Estate Association website and noticed that you were a member as well. I like this opening intro because this is a this is a good bridge right here. Hey, John, I was looking through the Real Estate Association website. I put Real Estate Association here, which is my bridge or my fun fact. We can connect now they're listening. Oh, yeah, I am part of that. So we'd love to connect and get on the phone and chat about how we can help each other. This I love. You take that copy and paste that in to your closely as a connection. But what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that everybody that you have on that campaign is a part of the real estate association. You want everybody to have the same connection. So when you do your searches, everybody will have the same bridge and you use that bridge and you, you put the same message in for everyone. Use closely, closely warms up the, uh, the campaigns. All right. All right, this is the CSV file that I exported out of um, Wallaxi. You're going to see maybe nine other columns here. Wallaxi is gonna give you a lot of information. That's what I love about that tool. They can do a lot of research. They can get a lot of things. If they have a navigator um, URL, they'll be able to grab that as well. So Wallaxi does a lot. I think Wallaxi is a very good research tool. I just don't think it's a good tool for for once you get in and you start trying to make a connection. I think there's more power when you use a tool that acts like a human or a SaaS tool that can act on your behalf with a lot of controls. So using the two together is powerful. I, I believe Wallaxi has closely in um, research, but I think that closely as far as doing the connections and human reaction interaction, I think uh, closely is, is more powerful. So the two together is a dynamite combo. What you're gonna see here is at the top, you only need three things. All you need, you need first name here, you need the last name there, and you need the URL for the, the, um, the LinkedIn URL. You must have those three. You do not need a, um, you can delete the top column that sits here where, where it has the headings. Just delete that entire field, you don't need that. All you need is first name, 
last name and URL and you drop it into the closely file and import it in and it'll automatically start warming up everyone and it'll send it over that period. You can set it and forget it and go ahead and start doing a lot more research. Do your research in Wallaxi, do your connecting in closely. Hopefully this was helpful. Again, if, if you like some of the tools and the hacks that I'm, I'm sharing, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, got a couple more hacks coming up. I got a major one coming up. Also, if you had an opportunity to sign up for my um, my digital real estate um, masterclass, I'm only gonna do that once a year where I break down every single piece of um, how I built you know, all of my 17 streams. I'm gonna break that down. I'm gonna do the numbers and I'm gonna show you. That's if you need it. If you don't, that's fine. I'll drop a link in there as well. You guys take care, be safe. Till next time. Goodbye for now.